All right, guys, we got the ram completed. So how you operate it is you push the lock button three times on the factory key fob. So you're gonna hit one, two, three. Give it a couple seconds, you'll hear the fuel pump and the ignition kick on and then she fires right up. You can use a Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips bit in a drill, a panel popper or a screwdriver, and a pair of cutters to cut zip ties. First we're going to pop this uh, knee bolster panel down. There's a Phillips screw here and another one over here on the right side. So go ahead and remove those. You'll pull this panel straight back towards the seat and it'll pop right off. Once we have the knee bolster released, we can go ahead and pop this cover off. This is going to give us access to the connector that we need on the back of the headlight switch. So the easiest way to do this is to put your pry tool in right down here and this just pops right off. And then for the switch, uh, if it hasn't ever been popped out before, you might have to use two hands, but typically you can just get in behind it and push it out, release it like that, and then grab it. And then that's our parking light connector wire. I usually start my harness installation on the ram trucks right here at the ignition switch. There's a connector right back here. You're just going to unplug it and then you'll plug our T harness right on into it. The next one that we're going to install is going to be the trailer brake connector. Um, this truck is not equipped with a trailer brake so the connector that we need is literally just kind of like hanging out right back in here. There may be a piece of foam on it like this one. But um, if you do have a trailer brake uh, installed in your truck, this would actually be plugged into a module back in here. So you would unplug it, and then you would take our mating connector, plug it in, and then plug this back into the module. Since this one does not have a trailer brake, um, just zip tie this up. This end is not used. Uh, tidy it up. Make sure it doesn't rattle when you uh, reassemble the truck, and you'll be good to go. The last connection that we have to install is the parking light. This is not needed for programming, but this will enable parking lights uh, during remote start activation. Um, you just basically unhook the connector up here from the headlight switch. You'll route our harness up and around, and then you'll just plug it in like we did the previous ones there. So it plugs right in, it clips, it's secure. Go ahead and plug our end back into the switch itself. Make sure you don't pop it in upside down. And then you snap it back in and you're good to go. This remote start kit is a two-stage process. What that means is you're gonna plug this into the truck, you're gonna program the key code to it, send it back to us. We will complete the second step of programming and then we'll send the module back to you. So why the module is away your truck won't start if you unplug it from here because there's some uh, wires and whatnot that loop through the module. So if you unplug the module, this becomes an open circuit. So what we did was we made a drive time cap. So it looks like this, and now you can drive your truck while the module is uh, on the way back to us or on the way back to you. There is another option that you guys can do if you don't want to ship it back. You can purchase the magic box from our website along with uh, the remote in service and we can remote in your computer uh, if you have a Windows computer and program the second stage uh, remotely so that way you can get your uh, truck up and running in one fell swoop. You need to cut one of these loops for the ignition selection. This truck has the tip start key so if you look at your install guide that came with the kit it says if you have a tip start key you're gonna cut the yellow wire so what that means is you literally snip it in half just like that uh, you can isolate the ends with electrical tape or just tidy it over and tape it up and that's all there is to it. Now if you guys have a push button start, you'll leave the yellow one intact and you'll cut the orange one. So please check the guide for the appropriate cut there. Um, that is mandatory, it, the module will not program uh, and or operate correctly if you do not have the correct loop cut.
right guys we got the ram all finished up i'm going to tell you uh, one thing this is a gas truck the diesel trucks operate in the same manner uh, the module that we're using in our kit it auto recognizes if it's a gas or diesel so if it needs a delay it will automatically monitor the glow plug light so you don't have to do anything extra other than activate remote start and how you do that is you hit lock button three times on the factory key fob so you hit one two three there's only a slight delay on the gas truck just to fire up fuel pump the diesel will same thing if it's already warmed up ready to go it'll crank right up like you just saw if it needs a delay it will monitor the glow plug light and give the delay so it's it's super awesome um, okay so trucks locked obviously because we hit lock three times right so if I grab the door handle can't get in so uh, you push the unlock button and this is the same with the push button start guys so what we're gonna do trucks running uh, since we've got a tip start we're gonna go ahead put this in and we're gonna turn it two clicks so that's one that's two and now tap the brake pedal put it in drive and you can drive away you guys have 45 seconds from the time you hit unlock to get in and do the takeover if you hit unlock and you start jacking around uh, in the bed of your truck and 45 seconds expires then it's gonna die when you get in and try to do the takeover so it's it's a safety precaution